The Equity Foundation is part of Equity Housing Group, which is a social landlord. We provide grants and support to local community groups, primarily in Stockport, Trafford and South Manchester as part of our pilot, um, but we are looking to roll that out further. The way that we work is very innovative, very unique. We are enablers rather than rescuers, so we think there's great things happening in local communities and what they need is funding and support to get things done, and so that's what we provide. We're a volunteer-led charity. We're a very old charity, we've been around since 1882. We've got a very small staff and about 90 volunteers who work with us, providing a range of services for people who are either visually impaired or have a hearing loss. The project that we specifically funded at Walthew House was around um, providing access to volunteering, so providing funding so that people who may not be able to access volunteering or may have particular barriers to volunteer are able to do so. As people maybe lose their sight or hearing and other social opportunities close to them, it's very important that we have something that's entirely appropriate. Things like um, an equipment resource centre that help people to continue to live independently with their sight or hearing loss. We also have um, a very large number of social groups and they're there to help um, provide people with a um, an opportunity to socialise because the deaf community is a community in itself so to have an opportunity to meet in that environment is really important. We really look for projects that are around our key themes which are kind of um, tackling worklessness and helping people to get into employment and also to look at improving health and wellbeing in local communities. We've got an online um, assessment tool and we went to Equity Foundation um, who we knew were in support of community based projects um, to try and get the funding for the, the uh, licence which cost almost £2,000 to actually pay for which we were able to afford and the learners need to be able to demonstrate they've got a baseline of, of uh, numeracy and literacy before they can do the teaching assistant course which is actually what they want to do and become, uh, you know, uh, help us with children in primary school so uh, with that funding now and with the cost of volunteer travel and so on and so forth that we're also able to get from Equity Foundation's funding. We've been able to provide this project just to help within the community. By the end of this year we'll be moving our community centre um, support into the community centre that's being built at the moment. So at the moment we're standing in a library that is actually going to be disestablished by the end of this year. We haven't got enough space in our current community centre to be able to help people to get into work but people need that help now. So partnership working is what it's all about. We work in partnership with organisations in our supply chain at Equity Housing Group in order to um, create a sort of infinity fund, a pot of money that we'll be able to use to continue to support community projects. Um, and that partnership working is really important because not only do these corporate organisations provide money and cash, um, but they also provide a lot of time, a lot of gifts in kind and that kind of thing. Community groups will benefit the communities where they work in lots of different ways. Um, it can be difficult to kind of measure outcomes in a broad sense because actually the projects that we fund are so different and they work with such different groups. What we are seeing though is um, with the kind of monitoring information that we're starting to get back from our first cohort of fundees um, from sort of nine, 12 months ago, um, is that the funding that we've provided has had a massive impact on service users and on local communities. Um, and we are hoping um, that we'll be able to benefit around 13,000 local people with the funding that we've provided so far. The Equity Foundation support is absolutely integral because it supports volunteers and volunteers run this centre. So without that we would, we would struggle enormously. It's just about trying to um, make people feel that they can use these tools, but they're not cheap. So without the funding from, you know, an, a, fun, a community interested funder, we wouldn't be able to provide this. It would be very step by step and much slower, but not equipping people for, you know, the, the, the reality of the world out there. So they're allowing us to kind of engage with where people need to be and to support them along that journey.